History of Distributed Ledger Technology, or commonly known as DLT. DLTs have a long and remarkable history. While the most common form of DLT spoken about today is blockchain, these systems have been in use for centuries. It's vital to understand that blockchain tech improved upon DLTs because it was the first system to solve the double spending program. Basically, electronic currencies that rely on DLTs were already around before Bitcoin. However, no one had configured how to remove the ability for nefarious actors to double-spend digital currency. It wasn't until Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin's white paper that these issues finally came to an end and digital currencies took flight. Some of the earliest forms of DLTs began in ancient times. Historians reported that in ancient Rome there was a distributed ledger that allowed its citizens to make purchases in any region of the empire. This ledger helped to spur economic activity across the empire and helped Rome achieve its historic status. Digital DLTs Digital versions of DLTs began to pop up as early as 1991. At this time, the first concept of a DLT as it's known today appeared. The first DLT was merely a concept written about in a paper by two researchers named Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta. In their paper named How to Timestamp a Digital Document, the two discussed procedures for certifying the creation and modification of digital documents. The basics of a digital DLT began to take shape. 2002. In 2002, David Maziez and Dennis Shasher built on this concept with their work. These two innovative developers introduced the concept of building secure file systems out of Byzantine storage multi-user network file systems called SUNDR, Secure Untrusted Data Repository. This document was the first to discuss the possibility of using blocks to organize transactions. 2005 In 2005, Nick Szabo famously proposed one of the earliest forms of digital cash, BitGold. His proposal was revolutionary at the time. It introduced never-before-seen concepts such as client puzzle functions and the proof-of-work function. Many of these concepts made their way into Bitcoin's core coding. Interestingly, many people believed Nick Szabo to be the real Satoshi Nakamoto because of these similarities. Sadly, Szabo denied that he had anything to do with Bitcoin's creation publicly. Despite his denial, there is still a large part of the crypto community that still insists that he played a direct role in the creation of the world's first cryptocurrency. 2009 Bitcoin Bitcoin changed everything. The introduction of blockchain networks to the DLT sector was a huge advancement. It meant for the first time in history, a reliable and verifiable digital currency could function. Notably, the birth of Bitcoin marks an uptick in DLT's development globally. It provided a catapult for advancements in this sector. Today, these developments continue to usher in new and exciting DLT innovations. Distributed Ledger Technology Today In 2015, the blockchain platform IOTA introduced a DLT that could leverage the Internet of Things IoT, for validation purposes. The IoT consists of every smart device in the world. In this new type of DLT, a protocol known as Tangle would allow the billions of smart devices around the world to verify network conditions. In essence, this development created the largest DLT in existence. Risks of Distributed Ledger Technology As DLT becomes more common in the market, it's important to understand that like all technology, there are some risks to keep in mind. DLTs are great at conveying and verifying data. However, there is no guarantee that this data entered the system correctly. One of the biggest issues facing these immutable ledgers is data input discrepancies. Basically, DLTs rely on exact data to accomplish their tasks. 
If an employee enters in some part of this data incorrectly, it creates a ripple effect that can cascade down the network. These concerns mean that any DLT-enabled firm must exercise caution to ensure all data entry occurs without errors. To accomplish this task, firms should exercise due diligence whenever they enter content into a DLT. DLT – A Better Alternative It's easy to see why so many businesses continue to look towards DLTs as a way to streamline business functionalities. As such, you can expect to see DLTs become a core part of many business systems moving forward. For now, these unique networks have endless potential to alter the way the world conducts business.